How do vaccines work against viruses? To understand this, let's first see what happens when a virus attacks our body and how our body fights it. Different viruses can enter the body through different ways, some through the nose and breath like COVID or influenza virus, some via mouth like hepatitis A and polio, some by blood or body fluids like hepatitis B, C or HIV. Once inside the body, the virus quickly attaches and hides in the cells. Inside the cells, the virus uses special features to use the machinery and materials of the cell to make more copies of itself. This way, a small break-in can turn into a full attack. More viruses attack more cells, and this goes on. Our immune system has two types of teams. The first line of defense is called innate immunity. And the second is specialized target killers called adaptive immunity. The cells in the first line of defense are like safety patrol. They are always on high alert and ready to catch any new virus or bacteria that enters the body. These cells are everywhere, including our nose, lungs, gut, and blood. Once they detect an attack from the virus, they will try to fight it but they don't have special weapons needed to effectively get rid of the virus and keep us from getting sick. This is where the second team comes in. They receive the captured and broken parts of the virus from the first team and start making special weapons to fight it. These weapons are antibodies and killer cells specially designed for this virus. This process takes time and the virus gets a chance to make more copies of itself and make the person sick. Eventually, the immune system defeats the virus and the body works to heal itself. Our immune system has good memory. Now it knows how to fight this virus next time. It can make special weapons and antibodies much faster now and this process is called natural immunity. At times, the virus attack may be too strong or the immune system is weak and cannot fight effectively. This can lead to severe illness or even death. Vaccines prepare the immune system before the virus attacks. There are different ways to make vaccines. Some contain virus that is damaged or dead. Some have pieces of virus. And some of the new vaccines have pieces of DNA or mRNA in them. The DNA vaccines and mRNA vaccines send a temporary message inside the cell to make only a single part of the virus. This message is then destroyed. By getting vaccines, our body is exposed to parts of the virus that activates our immune system without getting the actual infection. Special weapons, antibodies, and cells are made to fight the virus. This way, the body is prepared to fight with a battle plan when a real virus attacks. How do we know if vaccines are safe and effective? All vaccines must go through stages of careful research before they can be given to public. They are first tested in labs and animals, and then on a small number of people to know what dose is effective and safe. Then they have to go through large research studies that include thousands of people of different ages. Vaccines that cause serious problems do not make it to the public. The participants of the research studies are monitored to see how many get infected with the virus and if they develop any side effects. Keep in mind, people who are vaccinated can still get an infection but they will be able to fight it quickly and their symptoms may be mild as their immune system is prepared already. Some vaccines require a single dose and others may need multiple doses and boosters. Thousands of people participate in the final phase of vaccine research. Half of them are given the vaccine and the other half is monitored for comparison. Then over the next months and years, we see how many people develop infection or a severe infection in each comparison. Like for 100 people who get infected in the comparison group, how many get infected in the vaccinated group? This tells us how effective these vaccines are. Like 50% effective, 80% effective, and some vaccines are up to 95% effective. After getting a vaccine, most people feel pain and soreness at the site of injection. You may feel fatigue, mild headaches, fever, or chills. This is because the immune system is working and responding to the vaccine. These symptoms will typically go away in two to three days. 
a small number of people can develop allergic reactions to the vaccines. These reactions may be mild or severe. So if you have allergies to some parts of the vaccine, then discuss with your doctor before you get it. For further details about each vaccine, discuss with your doctor. Also, if you have medical conditions or are taking medicines that affect your immune system, then discuss with your doctor before getting a vaccine. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.